It was a winner go home situation for the Tigers going into tonight's game against Tennessee. It all came down to Nate Ackenhausen, a Juco transfer making his first start of the season. The, the changeup was really working with, uh, for me. Coach texted me at 8.56. I didn't respond until 11.10. I was sleeping in a little bit, so I think I just texted him. Yeah, I'll give it all I got. Ackenhausen took the mound for the Tigers with just two wins under his belt and an ERA of 3.63, the fourth lowest on the team. He ended up playing six innings, tallying up seven strikeouts on four hits and leaving the Volunteers scoreless. The LSU offense did its thing and Riley Cooper came into close and the Tigers got the first shutout win of the tournament. Trust in the competitor. And this is a big deal if you haven't been here before. I think our team's handled it great, honestly. And uh, I knew he would handle it uh, well. I knew he would throw strikes. Saw some things in a matchup that I liked. Um, saw some things in previous games here just throughout the tournament that I liked that I thought he could be effective. Uh, the thought really was um, three innings, 60 pitches. Um, my initial target was 12 hitters. And, um, you know, he obviously accomplished a lot more than that. The Tigers will now have to beat Wake Forest twice to make it to the College World Series Championship. For Tiger TV, I'm Miguel Paredes Reyes.